Hey, what's up everyone? Just want to kind of do a, a video on my Accutane. So for the past uh, few months, actually past six months, I've actually been on what is called Ac uh, Accutane, which is a medication that you use to take for uh, acne. Now a little bit of uh, background for you um, about, about my uh, acne is um, I've had acne since I was uh, 15 years old, had it all throughout high school uh, as well as my adult life. And uh, unfortunately, um, a few months ago, uh, I did find out that I have uh, like an autoimmune disease that also affects my skin. And so my dermatologist recommended uh, that I go on Accutane, one to kind of take care of my facial acne, as well as to also uh, see if we can, you know, kind of minimize some of the symptoms from my uh, autoimmune disease. So for the past six months, um, I've been on Accutane, which, you know, quite honestly, uh, you know, looking looking back over the past six months, am I am I glad that I went on it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, has has the past few months sucked? Yeah, I I would definitely say that the past few months have uh, have not been the most pleasant. Um, and, and maybe if you've had acne as well, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. It, you know, it seems like every time you take some type of new acne regimen to, you know, kind of cure your blemishes, there's always that waiting period. You know, is it uh, is it working? There's always the symptoms. Um, the biggest symptom uh, from my previous attempts to cure acne uh, was always red skin. Um, you know, when I uh, was about 28 I found a system called uh, 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 acne.org so they acne.org has their own system which consists of a, uh, a benzoyl peroxide as well as a, uh, a face wash as well and a lotion as well now that stuff if you've never used it before um, uh, acne.org's system uh, I mean that stuff like really like changed my life um, you know having adult acne sucks you know, especially when you're uh, you're in a meeting, you're trying to make a point, but you know you have this you know giant blemish on like on your your forehead or something, and you know if you have um, uh, acne on your forehead, I mean I, I swear to God that shit hurts more than anything. <laughs> um, but uh, so anyway, getting getting off a little bit uh, of talk off topic here, but if you want to if you want to try that before you get on Accutane, I would really recommend. Uh, trying out acne.org acne system first and then as a last resort uh, give Accutane a, a try um, but I guess going into it you know why is it that I say that Accutane is uh, is a bit hard uh, and a, a big part of that is you know there are a lot of there are a lot of symptoms that come with Accutane um, and if you've watched other videos on YouTube uh, maybe you know you're uh, you're interested in and asking your doctor about it, or maybe your doctor has actually recommended that you get on uh, on Accutane. But the symptoms that you're going to get from this, for especially like the first m first month, um, is your acne is going to get worse. And that's something that I found out um, when I started on Accutane. The first month, I noticed that uh, my acne uh, actually got a little bit worse, even even while I was still using uh, my Acne.org regimen, which I would say would limit my acne to maybe, you know, one one pimple a month maybe, and within my first month I was getting some every week. So that that first month wasn't uh, wasn't very pleasant, especially uh, since I'm, you know, going to be 34, and I hadn't had like serious acne in it was at uh, four years. So uh, getting acne again it was it was definitely not fun. I, I can tell you that I went to work with. You know, my head down to the keyboard, just working, trying to get my eight hours in, and then you know what I would head home. Uh, and it was it was nice to work from home on those one days where I did have a, a new um, a new pimple forming. Um, <clears throat> some of the other side effects, um, you're gonna get really dry skin. Um, for me, the dry skin was usually around uh, my mouth, and you might be able to see it, but I have I have uh, lotion on, but. Like right around here, I'd get really uh, dry skin. And then, of course, the lips. Uh, your lips are going to get really dry. So, you know, one of the things that you're definitely going to want to do is uh, get some chapstick. 
uh, get a lot of it. Um, I use the, I have two of these at work and then I also have two here at home and I always uh, carry one with me in my pocket you know and if you go out um, you know you go out to eat or something like that you need to put some of this on and let me let me tell you um, I work with with mostly guys and when a, another guy sees a man doing this while he's talking to him let, let's just say there's a, a bit of an awkward moment when you know you can lock eyes and you're doing this yeah <laughs> uh, so yeah that, that's a bit awkward um, but yeah dry skin is one of them um, you're gonna get a, a dry scalp as well um, so in the morning you might see uh, what you think is dandruff um, so you know uh, you're gonna want to get um, a good conditioner uh, if you wash your hair every day try to limit that to you know maybe once or twice a week because you don't want to take those uh, natural oils out um, and try and get maybe some leave-in conditioner as well uh, you could also do uh, Jehovah oil, which is uh, oil that's very similar to your body's natural oil. Uh, and that's something that I did. It's something you apply to yourself, um, you know, like right before you go to bed, you take a shower, put in your hair, um, so your hair get a little bit soft as well. But that'll minimize how much flakiness that you're going to get from your scalp. Uh, but, but even if you are conditioning it, your hair is healthy, uh, you're going to get dry scalp. Um, the other thing as well is you're definitely going to want to consume a lot of water. Um, I usually buy these, um, uh, Evian brand, you don't have to obviously, but um, you're probably going to go through about two or three of these a day. Um, and if you want to save on money, obviously just use tap water. Uh, I live in Chicago, I'm not a big fan of the, the tap water here. but. Uh, you're gonna cons you're gonna need to consume a lot of water. So if you if you don't like water, uh, and you're kind of one of those people that really, you know, hates the taste of water, which I can I can understand that. Um, you, you're you're gonna have a hard time, and, and most likely the the dryness is really gonna affect the six months that you're on Accutane. Um, the other the other thing as well um, that I've noticed on Accutane um, is achy joints. Now I work out uh, probably about five, six days a week, uh, depending on you know what's going on in my life. So usually about five or six days a week. So between the soreness of going to the gym and the achy joints uh, and, and muscles that you get from uh, your skin and your whole body just being dried out so much, um, it really kind of makes it hard to stay motivated to go to the gym, especially when you're, you're feeling really sore. Um, so that, that sucks. Um, you know, uh, being 33 years old and bending down to pick up something, but yet you feel like you're, you know, like 110 years old, uh, that really sucks. Um, so you're going to get achy joints. Uh, the other thing as well is if you are going on Accutane during summertime, just, just immediately plan on not having any type of summer, uh, whatsoever, because you have to minimize your exposure to the sun. Uh, and if you're in the sun, like let's say, let's say you're even in a car, and you know you're driving down the road, and the sun is on the left side of your on your on your car, even that sun going through your window, which has UV coating on it, is still going to make the left side of your face turn red, and the right side is going to be relatively normal. Uh, but you you are going to have red face. Um, which is similar to the same of, uh, symptom of you know using benzoyl peroxide. Uh, if you've ever used benzoyl peroxide, you know that the first few weeks uh, really suck because your face just turns really bright red. And it's the same with Accutane; your face turns uh, really red, and you're gonna sunburn really fast. So if you if you're gonna go outside, put on a um, uh, you know some type of uh, SPF, like maybe SPF 50 or something like that. Um, if it's working for you, um, you're not going to break out from, you know, uh, you know, putting some type of uh, SPF on your face. I usually, usually any time I put uh, any type of lotion on my face, I used to break out, uh, but it's not as bad um, anymore. Not a, not anyway. The past few months, um, I have found a couple of brands that work really well in terms of lotion. Um, that have you know kept me from from breaking out. Um, so definitely use an, an SPF if you go outside. 
Um, the other thing is, and this is this one is uh, mostly for men, um, but I have noticed that in the the last month, this is I'm in the very last month of using Accutane, so I can't speak to the the long term effects after uh, Accutane. Uh, but my last month, I have noticed that there is some testicular pain, and the only reason why I actually found out about it is because I went to uh, my primary doctor and I told him that hey you know, I'm, I'm having some testicular pain and so he's like okay yeah we need to we need to check this out so we schedule an ultras ultrasound and then he told me he's like you know I, I have read that it could be related to uh, Accutane and so you know that's that is a possible symptom that you might have uh, you know testicular pain towards the end of you know your six month cycle or you know if you're on it for a long term um, is that symptom common no it's it's not very common at all um, but it, it is it is a symptom uh, and it you know at, at my age um, you know the thought of having uh, or I should say at my age you know you're always concerned about you know how your body is changing as you get older so the last thing you obviously want is to you know, to, to find out that, um, you know, you have testicular cancer or something like that. So, uh, it, I guess it's one of those, a uh, bit of a, like an oh shit moment. Like, I, I gotta get this checked out. Um, but again, one of those uh, symptoms that you have to watch out for. Now, the other thing I talked about is uh, commitment. Uh, now, I've been on this for six months. Um, I have, I've literally, uh, as you can see here, I've one more pill left um, so I'll take that later on today so it's a six month commitment um, you're gonna be taking like when you originally start out you're probably gonna start out at a low dose of like 20 milligrams for me I take uh, 80 milligrams a day which is uh, two two of these pills because uh, they're 40 milligrams each uh, space them out over you know the uh, an eight hour day or space them out every eight hours and the other commitment is because these pills take such a toll on your body, you have to get your blood tested uh, once a month. And that is to make sure that your cholesterol levels are within tolerance because, you know, this thing just, it really just kind of uh, just, just tears up your body. Um, but there are, there are some benefits, obviously. Um, the benefits are um, you're going to have clear skin. It's going to be dry, but it will be clear. Um, so before I got on Accutane, I would say that I had combination skin. So if you don't know what combination skin is, is where like you have like the T-zone right here, right? It's called the T-zone. So cer certain parts of my face were oily, other parts were, uh, were, were normal. And now that I've been on Accutane for six months and, uh, you know, everything is pretty much just dried out, just ready to start on fire, it's so dry. Um, my face, you know, you could I could touch my face without it feeling oily uh, or shiny in the camera, which is which is really nice. Um, uh, I haven't had that since um, you know since since I was a, a teen, preteen, if you will. Um, so that's nice. That's a good benefit, uh, not having oily skin. Um, the other the other benefit is is you know because you do have to get your blood tested once a month. Uh, and there is a concern about what your cholesterol levels are, it does make you change your eating habits. So if you're, if you're one of those people that you don't want to change your eating habits, um, Accutane is probably not going to be for you. Um, if you do have the discipline to change your eating habits um, so that you eat much healthier, um, and you don't mind drinking a lot of water, then Accutane you know, it might be for you. It might be something that you want to consider. Um, you, you know, usually for me, first thing in the morning uh, is oatmeal, and then for lunch I usually eat oatmeal, and then for dinner I usually eat, you know, kind of maybe whatever I want, a salad maybe. Um, since I am putting in the time at the gym, uh, which I recommend that, you know, you know, everybody do something to stay a little bit healthier. Um, since I am putting in the time at the gym, usually I do a salad, and there was about a month period where my cholesterol level was really high um, which I mean in my family it's genetics that we just have you know uh, I don't know like we eat a cheeseburger and our, our, our blood sugar or our um, 
cholesterol levels would, would go up pretty high. Um, so it is something that will make you change your eating habits. And my takeaway from this is I've gotten into such a, you know, a regimen because of Accutane that out of this I'll probably take eating oatmeal for breakfast. I'll take away from this eating oatmeal for, uh, for lunch. I'll take away drinking a lot more water. You know, I'm pretty used to having water stocked uh, in my apartment now, so that's something that I will I will probably continue. Um, and then, of course, you know, doing other little things now that my you know acne so far has been uh, cured up. Um, now you can go from you're more concerned about preventing acne to and now you can actually focus on you know making your skin look a little bit better. You know, obviously you want to keep it hydrated all the time. Maybe you want to do something else to maybe, you know, even out your complexion. Um, and the biggest takeaway is when you're in that meeting and you don't have to worry about blemishes, that's, that's huge. Um, in terms of it helping out with my, you know, autoimmune symptoms, um, that I can't say for certain it's, it's worked for me. Um, you know, this is, that's something that is going to have to be looked at long term. And so since I have, you know, one, one more of these pills left, um, you know, I still have to, you know, do a follow-up video to see has my acne returned. Um, but coming off of this, um, for me, it's, it's definitely been a struggle. I mean, I, there was a lot of times where I said, you know what, I don't, I don't want my blood drawn anymore. Uh, I'm sick and tired of, you know, having to eat oatmeal for, for lunch and, uh, um, and for breakfast. And I'm tired of having to go to a dermatologist every once a, once a month as well. Um, but sticking it out, I think it was, it was definitely worth it. Um, you know, if, if, my, uh, if my acne does come back or I do have oily skin again, <clears throat> my dermatologist did recommend that you can actually do a low dose, um, somewhere around 10 or 20, 20 milligrams. And you only have to take it for maybe once or twice a week. A week. And the benefit to that being that, uh, you know, you won't have to, you know, come in once a month to get your blood drawn. It's something that you can, you know, I guess you could say, uh, take it once or, or twice a week. Um, but overall, I mean, I, like I said, I really am glad that I tried it. It's something that I avoided for a really long time. Um, but if you're willing to make that six month commitment, if you're willing to change your diet, if you're willing to consume that water, uh, if you're willing to put up with, you know, the, uh, uh, the symptoms or the, the drawbacks of it, you know, at the end of the six months, so far it's been worth it for me. So, you know, definitely consider it. And uh, if you do consider it and you've got any questions, maybe any, um, maybe you're kind of looking for maybe some uh, tricks on how to deal with the dryness or something like that, just leave a comment in the video below. And I appreciate you guys watching my video and listen to me talk for the past 20 minutes. See ya.